sing in Jesus, O Lamb of God, O worthy is your name, O Jesus, you are the Lamb of God, oh, and worthy is your name, hallelujah, oh, taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising up again, I bless your name, you are my all in all. And when I fall down, you pick me up. When I am dry, you fill my cup. Lord, you are my all and all. Everybody singing now, Jesus, you are the Lamb of God, and worthy is your name, oh Jesus, oh Lamb of God, oh worthy is your name. One more time. Jesus, Lamb of God, is Jesus. Oh, Lamb of God, hey, worthy is your name. Oh, Jesus. of God, oh, worthy is your name. Amen. It's worthy to be praised tonight. Blessed be his holy name. If you have in your Bibles, uh, let's turn with me to uh, Psalms uh, 40. Amen. Psalm 40 it says, um, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, my ears hast thou opened Burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. The Lord had a blessing to the reading of his word. Let's just bow in a brief word of prayer. Amen. As we uh, just enter into this service tonight. Father, we are so appreciative of the privilege and the opportunity uh, we have to come and to worship. Oh, God, thank you for bringing us through a, another week. And, oh, God, just keeping us and giving us a heart and a mind uh, to want to come into the house of the Lord. We pray that you bless those that have arrived, those, God, that are still on the way. Uh, give them traveling mercies. Those, Father, that are unable to be with us tonight, look upon them as well. And, Father, may the Spirit of God just have the preeminence 
uh, in this place tonight. Be glorified, be magnified, be exalted uh, in this place. Father, for you alone are worthy to receive the glory. You alone are worthy to receive the honor. You alone are worthy to receive the praise. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we don't look at our trials, our tribulations, or our distresses. Amen. We look to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. The one that has every one of our problems. Amen. Under control. So, Father, we thank you and we bless you and we ask, oh God, that you move by your spirit in this place tonight. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus that we pray. Amen. Let's give the Lord another hand of praise tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He brought me out of the miry clay. Oh, he placed my feet on a rock to stay. Hey, he put a song in my heart today. Oh, a song of praise, hallelujah. Well, he brought me out of the miry clay. Yeah, and he placed my feet on a rock. Hey, he put a song in my heart today. Oh, a song of praise. Jesus, I'll never forget. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget. Oh, what you've done for me. Oh, I'll never forget how you set me free. Oh, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Oh, I'll never forget. No. Come on. Say, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Oh, I'll never forget how you set me free. Well, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Oh, I'll never forget. No, no. He brought me out. He brought me out of the miry. Oh, he placed my feet on a rock to stay. Hey, he Oh, in my heart, well, a song of praise, hallelujah. Come on. Hey, and he brought me out. He brought me out of the mind. Oh, and he placed my feet on a rock. He put a song. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. A song of praise. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Jesus, I'll never forget. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget. Yeah. Jesus, I'll never forget. Oh, I'll never forget. No, come on, sing it again. Jesus, I'll never forget. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, I'll never forget. Hey, Jesus, I'll never forget. Hey, how you brought. I'll never forget. No, never. Come on, one more time. Hey. Jesus, I'll never forget Oh, what you've done I'll never forget Oh I'll never forget Hey I'll never forget I'll never forget I'll never forget I'll never forget, I can't forget, 
I can't forget I'll never forget I'll never forget I can't forget it I can't forget it I can't forget it I can't forget it I'll never forget I'll never forget I'll never forget no never somebody give him praise tonight think about how good he's been to you think about how far he's brought you hallelujah Jesus will never forget hallelujah glory to God amen he brought me out of the miry clay Place my feet on a rock to stay. Amen. And since he did that, now I'm going to worship at his feet. I'm never leaving his feet. Amen. I'm going to worship right there. Let's sing a little bit of that tonight. Amen. Oh, I'll be sitting at your feet to worship at your feet. I'll be right here at your feet forever. Come on. Say, I'll be sitting at your feet to worship at your feet. And I'll be right here at your feet forever. Oh, I'll be sitting at your feet, oh, to worship at your feet, and I'll be right here at your feet forever. Everybody say, I'll be sitting at your feet, oh God, to worship at your feet. I'll be right here at your feet forever. Hey, hey. I'll be sitting, yes, I will, all oh, to worship at. Oh, I'll be right here at forever. I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying right here. I'll be sitting. Thank you, Lord. Oh, to worship it. Oh, God, I'll be right here at your forever. Come on, sing it to him tonight. Oh, I'll be sitting at your feet. Oh, to worship Oh, I'll be right here forever. One more time, one more time. I'll be sitting at your feet. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'll be right here at your feet forever. Oh, come on, give them worship tonight. Thank you, Jesus. There's no place I'd rather be than right here at your feet forever. Oh, I'll be sitting at your feet to worship at your feet. I'll be right here at your feet for oh God I'll be sitting thank you Jesus to worship oh I'll be right here forever come on sing it one more time oh I'll be sitting at your feet 
to worship at your feet i'll be right here at your feet forever oh hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus glory glory thank you jesus amen you can be seated in the presence of the lord a little bit too much here now amen let's just uh prepare for uh tonight's uh, uh, offering amen so good to be in the house of the lord man just uh, appreciate um, god for just bringing us through another week and amen and just uh, all that he has done we have the victory tonight amen one more week of of, of walking in victory amen we're more than conquerors uh, through him that loved us Amen. We're just uh, so grateful. Um, just um, don't for forget, amen, just uh, for uh, on Sunday, amen, our time of prayer and then uh, Sunday school and amen and in service, amen. We're certainly under expectation this weekend, so good to have uh, Brother Tom and Sister Sandy Ernest, amen, with us from Wichita. Kansas they they drove a long way amen to uh, to get here and it's been uh, been a few years uh, since uh, he was he preached for us but I was so glad that they when we uh, connected over the telephone and said man this would be a perfect time and I'm just under expectation for what the Lord has in store amen for us so um, uh, don't forget just to continue to keep him in prayer lower my monitors just a little bit more please amen uh but keep him in prayer as um as uh he just prepares for tonight as well as uh for sunday morning uh, trusting god to use him amen in a very special way amen let's uh pray over tonight's offering amen go from there father we just thank you uh for the opportunity we have to be able to give to you tonight lord may you use this for the furtherance of your kingdom um, thank you for blessing us, for uh, providing for our homes. And as you provide for us at home, you also provide for the church. And God, we just thank you for meeting every need according to your riches and glory. Thank you for rebuking the devourer for our sake. Thank you for opening doors that we cannot see. Thank you for a blessing, God, in ways that go beyond our expectations. You are the God that does the exceeding, the abundant, above all we can ask a thing. And God, we just appre we appreciate you and we praise you for it. Bless our giving tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Be right here at your feet forever. I'll be sitting at your feet to worship at your feet. I'll be right here at your feet forever I'll be sitting oh. and I'll be right here forever Amen Let's just uh, stand to our feet tonight. We want to, amen, um, prepare our hearts for the word of the Lord tonight. Amen. As um, uh, Brother Tom would come. Um,
Let's sing a chorus of Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh, I once was lost, but now was blind, but now I come on, sing with all your heart tonight. Oh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh, was lost but now now I'm found oh was blind hallelujah but now I come on sing again with all your heart amazing grace oh brother Tom oh amazing Zing grace That's all we'll sing tonight. We got to make sure this microphone thing's going to work out because I don't usually do this, you know. So I'll ask him, did he have a lapel mic? So they're trying to get it up high enough where y'all can hear. I can hold it if I have to, but my arm just might fall right off at the end of the night doing. But let's see how this works. If you can't hear, let the let the fellows back there know. And uh, God bless you all. Good to see you tonight. It's a, a real, a real joy. It's got a, a lot of reverb, a lot of echo. Is that going to be really annoying before we get very far? So it's, uh, they'll work on it. Just let me know if you can't hear, if you'll do that. You ain't going to bother me at all. Uh, been good to be with you. I'm Tom Ernest. I was here. I went back and looked it up. I was here in Dece or January 31st of of 16. So. Come January would make three years since uh, since we were here with you. We tried to come back a couple of times in between and we did, made a couple of false starts and we set up a date or a time might work and it just never worked. So here we are again. Praise so the Lord. We trust the Lord knows all about that. I, I, I wanted to come again. I know the fellowship I've had with your pastor and and um, that trip before and met him out in meetings and follow him on the internet a little bit. I look at, that man's everywhere, so, you know. For a little guy, he sure spreads himself thin sometimes. But, but uh, we, we have had a wonderful day today in fellowship and, and friendship with him. Can, are you hearing me? Is it all, Are you okay? All right, let's read our scriptures together, and then we'll let you be seated. Revelations chapter 12 if we can read there for a text. So tonight we're just going to set a little platform for, for
for a little larger text on Sunday. No one, I didn't know when we set up to come on Sunday that you even had a Friday night meeting. And after we were committed to come on Sunday, he said, well, just go ahead and have a, a service on Friday night. And I said, well, man, I don't want the people coming out on an off night. And, and, and but he said, it's not an off night. He says, we show up anyway. So, so God bless you for that. It's, it's, a, it's an odd night for, for church, but God bless you for, for being willing to come on an odd night, you know. For, it's whatever, whatever fits for you. And so that's the wonderful thing, as the Lord leads. And Amen. It's good to see you all here tonight. But we'll read a text, if we can, out of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. The great dragon, the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. He's got a lot of names, ain't he? Yeah. Called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Our text will come from verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, you that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. <clears throat> I like especially, especially verse 10, Now is come salvation yeah. and strength. Amen. Now has come. Now when? Now when the accuser of the brethren has been dealt with and has been cast down. Amen. Now there's some victory coming our way. Right. Right. Glad for that. Let's just pray. Father, we ask you to bless the word tonight. We so appreciate seeing the hearts of the people wanting to come into the house of the Lord and have a little time of fellowship around the word and, and in the singing and in the, the worship of you. We ask you tonight, Lord, that you'll just take take this this holy writ let it be read and said in such a way that the people can can take some benefit home with them that's our prayer tonight we know you are faithful we just try to be faithful to to stand and let let the word take its course yes god we pray these things in your name amen and amen god bless you, you may be seated now i'm i'm still getting a lot of ring back are you still are y'all hearing that or is that just me you're working on it? All right, you're going to get it. All right. I got great confidence in that group of men back there that are... <laughs> yes, well, my goodness. It is a long way from Wichita to here, in case y'all have, have never traveled our way. It's certainly... We, met, we did it in a few stages. We, um, I know many of you will remember us from last time, but we've, we're entering very nearly in, in November we'll be entering into our 40th year of ministry Praise the Lord. of this message. We began in November of 1979 and by the grace of the Lord we ain't looked nowhere else since. All right. I don't know anything outside All right. of this message. That what, what I do know of it, I'm not interested in it. It, it, it holds no attraction. Amen. I, I wake up every morning looking in my Bible and looking into the Word and and standing there like Peter did, I just ain't got nowhere else to go. All right. Amen. To whom else can we go? Amen. Because this is the words of eternal life. I know lots of distractions along the way. People have gotten distracted and, and gotten uh, weary and tired. You know, that, there's no other way to say it. After 39 years now on the road and, and in the ministry and going from church to church and, and group to group, there's no other way to describe it other than we're just all tired. All right. We are tired. We, all right. we never thought when we started the journey that we'd still be here now. Come on. Right. And we can say that candidly and very, very truthfully. We never imagined. That's right. Amen. I remember, I remember, I was born and raised in West Tennessee, a place called Nutbush. <laughs> Nutbush, Tennessee. Any of y'all that ever heard any music before you came to the Lord? Know that that's the same little community where Tina Turner was born. Yeah. Uh -huh. In fact, my dad and my family, we farmed cotton growing up through the years there, and we had a farm off of Highway 19, which she, 
I don't recommend you go home and even hear that song because <laughs> other than it's about where I was born from, it ain't nothing to listen to. All right, brother. <laughs> but she mentioned Highway 19, which we're, we, we lived right on the highway. We had a farm, went way back to a point in the field. And in our young days, while it was still there, before it fell in and rotted, we could see the house that she was born in there. Right. And so that I, I, I tell everybody where I go, me and her, the only famous people got out of there. So <laughs> the rest of them are still there. So, so uh, but that's where I was born and raised and began my ministry there in a little, little church in the cotton patches and nut bush. So Amen. the Lord has been good to keep us and, and, and let us, let us continue in this work. Amen. There is, there is, there is, there is somebody, and let me just, just say this from the beginning. Somebody is going to fulfill 1 Thessalonians 4.16. Amen. Right. That's right. Somebody's going to do it. That's right. It ain't got to be me. Come on. It ain't even got to be you. We right. trusting by grace it is you. All right. But the scripture tells us that somebody will be alive and remaining yes. to, the, to the change yes. of the body. Amen. Somebody is going to do that. That's right. I believe by the grace of God that I'm a part of that. Hallelujah. But if you hear someday that, that Brother Tom has met his demise and that's not my portion, then I'm going to be the second half of that verse. All right. Because whoever is fulfilling that first half will not prevent or hinder them Amen. which are asleep. Amen. I know we get all sorrowful when we lose somebody or a loved one or a friend or a member of the church goes on. And, and, and on the natural side, it is very sorrowful. But these people that, that died in the faith, they've already punched their ticket. Yeah. And they are included in that verse. He, yeah. God, Paul didn't leave nobody out. There's going to be somebody alive and remaining. Yeah. There's going to be somebody who will not be hindered. Amen. We will not hinder them Glory. which are asleep. Right. We shall be all changed. Amen. Changed in the moment in the twinkling of Hallelujah. an eye. Amen and amen. I believe that with all amen. my heart. But <clears throat> we're going to begin a little a little lesson tonight. Again, I knew the, the to to build for a little bigger platform on Sunday. I wanted to talk about overcoming. Okay. Overcoming. I know we bring it all back to the natural every time. And I've been preaching a long time. I've heard a lot of preachers preach about overcoming. One of my favorite messages of Brother Branham is, "How can I overcome?" Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I growed up with that as being one of my, one of those uh, uh, benchmarks of, yeah. of, of a lesson that will help me along the journey. Amen. How can I overcome? Yes. I'm going to read a couple of quotes out of it tonight, but if I can give you the, the cliff notes, the little short version yes, of sir. how can I overcome, you know what the end result was? Mm. Basically, you can't. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, basically you cannot. He can overcome it. That, that, that's, that's what the prophet was trying to teach us all along. He said we can run around the earth and we can pluck peacock feathers in a crow all we want to, but he's still going to be a crow. Yes. But God, who is rich in mercy, who, who thought of us before, placed our names on that book before the foundation of the world. Amen. He can overcome yes. for us. Glory to God. How can I overcome? <clears throat> I believe we're living in a time, I, I, when, always when I leave on a trip, and I, I've already visited one church there in Memphis on the way down, and now I'm here with you all, and we'll finish our journey back up, back up towards home. But I always try, the Lord seems to always give me a little, a little area that, that that's, builds a little theme for the whole little little missionary journey or evangelistic trip that I'm on. And this quote out of Stature of a Perfect Man, you know, a lot of people don't believe in preachers no more. Oh my. A lot of people don't believe in ministry anymore. Oh my. But I believe ministry is here. Glory. Not to, oh not only to, not, you know, in spite of themselves. Uh-huh. Help the people towards that yes. perfection that right. God is bringing Amen. us to. That's right. Listen to what Brother Ram said. In Stature of a Perfect Man, God wants to be worshipped. The word God means object of worship. It's God trying to condition His people. Listen now. It's God trying to condition His people 
so he can get from them what he created them That's for. It, Amen. That's, it. That's what God is doing yes. through ministry. Right. Through the through this message. He is conditioning his people right. to get from them what he created them Amen. for. Amen. He never made you to be something else besides a son and daughter of God. Glory. If you have missed that of being son and daughter of God, you've missed the mark. That's right. Are you with me? Amen. That's what God is doing. And I believe every little every little journey on the road, every little you know, after 39 years, full years of being in the ministry and in hundreds of different churches and, and hundreds of different congregations, I know you're going to look around here in West Palm Beach and say, we're well, very big. Well, you're a big church compared to some of them I go to. <laughs> Be encouraged. Praise the Lord. Be encouraged. Glory. There's a big crowd here tonight. <laughs> and sitting beside you is the spirit section. You know what all these empty benches are? That's the spirit section. That's all for right. all those people that will tell you next week. Well, I wasn't there, but I was with you in spirit. So, all right. so <laughs> that's, that's right where all they're right. at, right there by you. So. Come on. That, that's the spirit section. There's all some, right. <laughs> but overcoming is, is it, it's, it's, it's God conditioning his people. Amen. You know, a very, if Brother Branham ever makes a very plain, flat statement, you can believe it's going to happen. Amen. If it, you know, I know we pick out we pick out our favorites. You know, quotes are like, you know, I, I don't know which one's my favorite. It's, it's, it's like a pastor we used to have up there in Fort Walton Beach, Brother Brown. He got to be an old man. He loved ice cream. He said, you know, he said reading quotes and reading the scripture is like eating ice cream. The, your favorite one is the one that you're having right now. All right. He, he said. I, it's hard to pick out a better one than that. Glory to God. But Brother Brandon makes a statement about the Laodicean church age. <clears throat> the Laodicean church age. And this is out of how can I overcome. Here's what he said. Laodicea, that's the last church age. There's going. Are you with me now? This is much like Paul declared in 1 Thessalonians 4. Brother Brandon is making a statement. There's going to be some overcomers in there. Amen. There's going to be. Amen. It don't matter to me Amen. who fails, doesn't make the mark, flounders, runs here and there, Amen. gives up, restarts, gives up, restarts. None of that matters. There's going to be right. some overcomers in there. Amen. There's going to be. Amen. By the grace of God, I'm going to be one of them. Amen. Amen. Always we, we relegate overcoming to, to control, controlling our, ourselves. And, and certainly there's value in that. There's certainly value in a daily overcoming walk as a Christian. We never want to get to the place where it doesn't matter what I do. Well, it does matter what you do. Yeah. A truly born-again son and daughter of God conducts himself like a truly born-again son and daughter That's of God. Right. Amen. We don't want to ever get to the place that God is doing it all. All right. Are you with me? Come on. But yet in ourselves we know there ain't nothing we can do. That's Amen. what we're going to talk about Praise overcoming. God. That's one of those great paradoxes of life. Yes. Is that we cannot overcome Come unless he overcomes in us. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. Because we can go out and we can reform ourselves. We can work ourselves. We can we can we can we can keep under subjection the body. We can do all of those things that Paul in the scripture exhorts us to do. But to truly overcome. Now Brother Branham gives us a definition of overcome. Right out of the message, how can I overcome? Jesus told us how to do it. I'm talking about overcoming. Overcome means to stand the test. You remember that quote? Yes. Overcome means to stand the test. Yes. Overcome means to recognize the devil in every one of his tricks. Yes. Lots of people says there is no devil. It's just a thought. Don't you believe that? That's right. Don't you believe that? No more than God is just a thought. Oh my. No more than God is just a, a, a spirit being, an imaginary a something out there that we 
that we think. That's why we come, and, and, and certainly here in West Palm, y'all are a little more expressive than some of our other churches that I go to. <laughs> I'm not expecting you to, to win the, the quiet award for, <laughs> for, for places that I go. I wanted to come out because when I tune in to Brother Jack, he's all over the place. I, mean, <laughs> I saw him doing something a week or two ago. I didn't know what that was. Some kind of... I didn't know what he was doing. I, I got to go back and watch it again because, because it was a move that I don't have. <laughs> if I preached like him, I, I'd be nothing but a, you'd have to pick up the fragments in a basket like they did over there when Jesus broke the bread. I'd just, I'd just break into pieces. I asked the brothers about a, a lapel mic. He don't even have one because he runs around with this thing all over the place. But that's that, this area of overcoming. I, it's a tremendous promise. There will be some overcomers in there. That's exactly right. The devil, the prophet told us the devil wants to throw up every scarecrow he can along the way. Everybody that, that, that stumbled, fell, didn't make the mark, lost the faith had a crisis of faith, all these different definitions that they've given about this message. Those who've walked away and stumbled and fell and, and, and the enemy wants to throw those up. We'll see, he couldn't, he could None of us can. Right. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, five seconds out from behind the grace and the blood of this word that has come in our day and every one of us fall. That's right, brother. There is no strength in us to That's hold right. ourselves. How can I overcome? The prophet basically put it in simple terms. You can't. Amen. He overcomes. Amen. And we're going to see that in the scripture in just Amen. a few minutes. Amen. He overcomes Amen. in you. Now, Brother Brown, I'm talking about the Laodicea. It's the grandest age of all ages. But as yet, he says, it's the greatest sinful age yes, sir. that ever was. Yes. We live in a very precarious hour. The those thousand thousand demons that was released out of the river Euphrates were released in our day. Yes. The prophet went into teaching to let us know that. He looked back to the scripture and he said, he said, and, and I'll tell you when it happened, my dear brothers and sisters, was at the opening of those seals. Come on. When that word came open to its fullness, when yes. that when that expression of what God has all, all the secrets that God has always wanted his church to know was revealed to us. Yeah. And at that same time, that great onslaught of the enemy came as well to where our prophet made statements like, the lid has come off of hell. Oh my. Well, that ain't hard for y'all to believe. Come on. You see it every day. Yes, look, at, look at the vileness. There are, there are atrocities that happen in our neighborhoods that we could have never imagined That's would happen. Right. Amen. The, the mothers drowning their children and oh you look at that that's just the work of the devil yes. the work of the enemy but in this evilest and most sinful age there's going to be some overcomers in there oh my. I've been privileged to go and travel like I have for all these years going into churches looking for those overcomers oh my. preaching to those overcomers Amen. I get criticized sometimes well Seems like the only thing you're looking for is, is a bride message. Well, that's what I'm here to preach that's to right. is bride. That's right, brother. It is a bride message. Amen. We're living in an, a different age. We're not in a Pentecostal age. That's right. Amen. We're in a bride age. Yes. Amen. The prophet labeled it that for us. A that's bride right. age Amen. that you and I Glory are living God. in. Amen. And in that age, there's going to be some overcomers that's right. in there. Amen. Amen. You notice again, back to our scripture, because I like to, to base any quotes we have, anything that the prophet said, I like to see it in the word. Yes. I like to see that, that this foundational truth that he is giving us yes. permeates itself in the word. Yes, sir. And, and at the very time the great dragon was cast out, at the very time the accuser of the brethren has been defeated, the, 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 the word comes out behind it, I heard a loud voice saying, now has come. Now salvation has come. Now is when the great victory. Now is when the true overcomers. There's been overcomers in every age. Sometimes it gets, and, and the reason I wanted to build a foundation on this tonight is we're going 
We're going to take on Sunday, we're going to go into the book of Job, the, the great overcomer of his age. All right. When Brother Branham says the definition of overcoming is to stand the test, yeah. ain't nobody we can think about greater right. tested than that prophet Job. Amen. And, and I trust the Lord will help us to look in that. But, but being an overcomer in Laodicea, the prophet gave us a very foundational truth of, of, the, of the progression of the scripture. And I went back this afternoon and I did print them all out because I didn't want to miss one. The prophet let us know that, 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 that the, the succeeding church age behind each church age, and, and I know you have the, 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 the graphic here, you've got Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and then the Laodicean church age. Uh -huh. The prophet let us know a wonderful truth that each, each church age succeeding that, each church age following that, uh -huh. not only inherits the promise out of the book of Revelation for his age, but he inherits the, all the, that, that each age before him That's was a exactly recipient right. of. Right. That's why it's a privilege to live here in, in 2018. Amen. That's why it's a wonderful thing that God looked down in Nutbush, Tennessee and said, I'm going to plant you there in this age. Right. All right. It is a privilege, my dear brothers Glory. and sisters, Amen. to live in the greatest. Amen. The prophet said, this is, I'll tell you why it's the greatest age. It's the ending of time. Yes. It's the ending of all things. It's yes. the ushering in of the millennium. Yes. It's all of these things. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm privileged to be standing here tonight. Amen. I know it ain't about how good I preach it or how bad I preach it, just to be a part of it. Hallelujah. You know, we all get worried about our what, what we doing. Is we doing enough? Are we doing? Or you know, Come everybody. On. Brother Ram said that's the biggest trap a man can get into is he'll see a guy with a gift and he'll want to go out and have his oh, gift. My. Whatever God has called you to do, do it with all your heart. Amen. If you have a position in the church, do that with all your heart. If you have no position. Do it with all your heart. I, I, again, our, our, our old pastor there from, from, from Fort Walton Beach, he used to always talk about our building. They had built it there. And, and when you look at a building, you look around, you got all the nice plaster and the paint, and it looks good. And I mean, this one's getting a little old and tired, but, but it's just what you got to live with. I, I, I'm just going to go on and say it. I, I know he's thinking about... I hear him pointing out land. This land over here, a church can go there. A church can go there. Glory. And that was, I heard it all afternoon. We're riding around. A, you know, this place can, can be a church. God bless you if that's Amen. the way the Lord would lead you. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. Now, I know half of you, are, no, it's too, too late. It's too late to be building Preach. another church. Preach. It's too late. You know, you know how the prophet broke that down? Preach. He said, if you were, and, well, we ain't got no money for that. Now, let me give you another quote. He says, what good is it going to do you to keep your money in your pocket? Preach! What good is it going to do? I, I could look those up for you if you needed me to, but they're there. You'll find them. I've been reading them for 39 years. What good is it going to do you in your pocket? If, God, if, if you knew he was coming tomorrow. All right. And it was the will of the people, and, the, and you felt it was the will of the Lord to build a church. Go ahead and build a church. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. We get into that mentality. It's too late, but, but I don't know why I wanted to get into that. Other than I, right. I, I kept, I know where most of the lots are that can hold a church now <laughs> here, anywhere in your neighborhood. I don't, I don't see them. I know they're there. It's the man's heart. He wants to have a, a, a building for you. I was in this building three years ago. It ain't changed none. I mean, maybe a little tired and a little more weary, but it's still here. But this area of overcoming, each church age, yes, sir. I, I quickly went back and, and, I, and I jotted down each promise. Amen. You know, God is a, 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 a wonderful Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. He wants to give you stuff. Hallelujah. You know, I know we, we all get, well, I'm going to go out and get me a job and I'm going to earn it. You know what? I used to sit, uh, sold cars for a long time. You know what my wife and I do now to, to try to hold, hold the creditors away from the door? We, we shop groceries for people. I know it's, it's, it's quite a business in Wichita. We, we, we work for a company called Instacart. I Uber drove for a while. I still do it a little, only when there ain't no groceries to be bought. 
man, down here in the south, them Uber drivers get a bad rap, I'm telling you. They're, they're stabbing people and murdering people. And I, I read it in the paper every day. Yes. Atlanta, somebody in Atlanta. I, didn't, I don't carry a knife or a gun, so. But, you know, this whole society's messed up. Yes, I mean, it is. It is. Yeah. When we was growing up, you know what our parents told us? Don't get in the car with a stranger. Right. Right. Exactly and now you right. know what they do? You call a stranger on the phone <laughs> to come and pick car. you up. Come on, brother. True. It's the truth. <laughs> and it's not that he's kind enough to come and get you. You're paying for it. <laughs> now, I do get some in my car that live by the philosophy, don't talk to strangers because they're just clammed up in the back seat and won't talk to me. But I did Uber driving for a while, but now we shop groceries for a living. There's a company called Instacart. Instacart, they, they go into the Kroger stores and, and we take our, our telephones. I left mine in the office there and you pull up the app and you get a, a, a ping on your phone and it tells you to go in there and get them some peas and some bacon and some bread. Tells you what flavor they want, tells you what size they want. And you just show up in the grocery store and haul it into their house. And they let me, a stranger, bring their groceries right into their house. How can you imagine? It's a strange world we live in. Yes. It really is. Amen. But I'm thinking, what a privilege. What a privilege. Amen. What a privilege God has given us. In that Ephesus church age, whatever God has given you, it is a gift from Him. Amen. It don't matter if you've got a little or a lot. Everybody thinks that somehow that matters to God. Somehow, somebody, some people think that that, you know, these prosperity preachers, I hear them out there, and it's all about prosperity, prosperity. Sow the seed, plant the seed, give me the seed, whatever, <laughs> whatever. You hear the prosperity, Come guys. Why is it all the same? Every one of them right. bars each other's notes. That's exactly right. They, it's all the same. Prosperity, prosperity. Yeah. It, it don't matter if you got a little or a lot. Be faithful with yeah. what God has given you. Amen. I got a direct quote for you. It's not wrong to make money, Brother Branham said. But don't be jealous of the man that does. All right. If God is not the grocery shopping, we're not going to retire on it. We're not going to be millionaires. We're going to just keep hauling peas and corn and beans until, until something else shows up. And, and we thank the Lord for that. He's That's provided right. an avenue. He's, he's right. given us a little outlet That's of right. something to do between my ministry trips. Amen. It's the kind of a job that we can do and, and, and come on a trip like this and be gone three weeks and, yeah. and set it aside and then pick it back up when we go home. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to work for the man and get three weeks off. I just <laughs> any, any of you brothers that know... How do you show up down at your job and say, I, I want to go preaching for three weeks. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in November. Well, that, just, it's not that don't work. That don't work. But the Lord has been good to us. But my whole point is this. If you go to each church age, every church age had overcomers. God's never lacked for an overcomer. Amen. Now, it got thin at times. Yes, sir. It got thin. Yeah. Let me just read you a quote right out of... Out of how can I overcome? God has always had overcomers. He's had overcomers in every age. There's always, every time, in every age that there's been on the earth, God has always had somebody. I know you all like to, to respond. Everybody say somebody. Somebody. God has always had somebody. You know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at somebody. I'm looking at somebody over here and somebody over there. Somebody. God has always had somebody. He could put his hands on as a witness in the earth. He's never been without a witness. Though sometimes just one. That's it. But he's always had one. That's exactly right. Somebody overcome. Amen. Like the saints of old. Hallelujah. And Brother Branham begins through those next paragraphs. It starts around paragraph 73. He begins comparing some of these previous ages. Listen to, and again, I'm giving you the cliff notes of it. In Noah's time, in Noah's time, there was eight right. overcomers. Right. And that's what went in. That's right. 
in the days of Daniel's time, there was four overcomers right. that could stand the test of fire and lion. Right. Yes. I believe we got some people today that will stand that Whoa, test man. again. I believe when that pressure and that squeeze right. comes on right. that the prophet told us was coming. Amen. I know it gets, it gets lean and ugly here sometimes even in the life that we're living in. But I cannot go back and read all those quotes that Brother Branham left us. I know people are preaching we're already in the squeeze. My mind has been squeezed. Brother Branham ain't talking about your mind. <laughs> He's talking about when they when we're meeting in homes and dens and caves of the earth and, right. and trying to still have a meeting. When, they're, when that little hunted and persecuted All group, right. I ain't hunted yet, I ain't persecuted yeah. yet. I know everybody, you know, we get a tiny little taste of persecution. We just right. crumble up and go in the, the yeah. fetal position, yes, just sir. like, yes, we ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. It's coming, my dear my brothers and God. sisters. In the days of Daniel's time, there was four overcomers. In the days of Lot, Jesus referred to it. There was only three that overcome. Yes. Lot and his two daughters. Not yes. even his wife didn't overcome. That's right. You know, Israel started out, this is paragraph 84, they started out two million strong yeah. and ended up with how many? Two, two. two million to two. We got a great message out of that a year or two later. One in a million. One in a million. I looked up the population of Palm Beach County. I wanted to see how big our crowd was going to be tonight. <laughs> we got, we're doing pretty good by those ratios. 1.44 million people in Palm Beach County. You take in Miami and all down, it's six point something million. That, uh, why ain't the building full? I'll tell you why. It's not for them. Amen. Amen. It's not for them. Amen. This message did not come to gather in the masses. Right. It came to hunt and, and, and search for his predestinated seed. Wow. Overcomers. Overcomers. Israel started out two million strong, ended up with two. In John the Baptist time, I mean, remember overcomers were there. In John the Baptist time, there was found six that had overcome. In John's time, they had six. That was Joseph and Mary, Zacharias and Elizabeth, Simeon and Anna. Yes. That's all the overcomers that yeah. there were. Six. So, so Brother Branham is trying to give us a picture of what a true of the the ratio right. of a true overcomer. I got intrigued a little while ago talking, thinking about the stature of a perfect man. I love preaching on stature of a perfect man. I spent many years of my life afraid to touch it because other brothers had messed it up and the. The thunders people that took it and made this and that out of it, and they, they painted all. Right. all I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? Preach! Y'all was in those meetings. Y'all was yes, in there. Sir. Yeah, and they, and they had it all so. Con and I heard that all my life, and so convoluted, and yeah. and I just left it alone. But here recently, in, in the last year, I've I've been privileged to look into that message, stature of a perfect Amen. man. And I, and I thought, you know, looking at the words of Brother Branham throughout that, that message and other messages surrounding it, we got to realize there was only one truly perfect man that ever walked the earth. Amen. And that was Christ himself. Amen. Brother Branham said everybody else was flawed except for him. Now, we've had good men, powerful men, wonderful men, wonderful ministries, wonderful prophets through the ages. But there was only one perfect man. Amen. And I, I got to thinking, you know, uh, about this ratio thing. Two out of a million, or of two million, and one in a million. And, and I got to thinking of how many, how many people have lived on this earth. Wow. Think of that. I, you know, nobody knows exactly, but I went to all the scientists and I went to all the, the scholars and those people that, that can halfway figure out these things, populations through the, the millenniums before us and through the decades, and, and they, they came up with a figure. Uh, and it's pretty well a, a general consensus that, that living human beings on this planet since the creation of time is about 108 billion people. And just think of all that effort that man put into it. There was one perfect one. Wow. That came apart from the instrumentality Amen. of man. Amen. 
It had nothing to do with this sinful flesh. Wow. It had nothing to do with the procreation right. as we got here. Right. But there was just a little girl out on wash day one day. Yeah. Right. And look, Mary, Brother Branham called it a blue Monday. She, he said it was probably a blue Monday. She was out doing her laundry. Right. And an angel came. My Lord. You know what he said about that, that prophecy that, that a virgin would conceive? He said that prophecy went around and around the world. Amen. Looking for a place to land. That's right. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you about him that overcometh. That's looking for a place to land. Amen. Amen. We which are alive and remain is looking for a place to land. Amen. This word is looking for a place to be fulfilled in this Laodicean church age and all the evil and the debauchery and the sin that is around us. But that prophecy of Isaiah, virgin shall conceive, it went around and around the world looking for a place to land. And people were trying to help it out. Remember Brother Branham said when they read Isaiah's prophecy, all them little, them little Jewish mothers would start knitting booties and blankets. Right. Thinking that they were going to be the ones that it would yes. come to. But it wasn't, their, their, it wasn't for them. There was a chosen vessel. That's right. And that's why the, the hope rises within us. That we are the chosen vessels of the Amen. end time. Amen. That this word is looking for a place to land. Yes. A place for an overcomer's promise yes. to find its way yes. into our heart. But let's go back to each Lord. one of those promises. Ephesus. Mm. Keeping in mind the, the, the words of our prophet. Every age not only inherits the promise of his age, but the promise of every age <laughs> preceding it. Ephesus was given the promise to him that overcometh. This is in verse 7 of chapter 2, Revelations. I will give. I will give it. I will give to eat All right. of the tree of life. Yes. Man, that's almost enough in itself, ain't it? Yes. But, but that's just the beginning. That, that's just the Ephesus age. Amen. That's the Ephesian age. Yes. Verse 11, to the Smyrian age. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Right. Man, you add that to eating of the tree of life, that's just pretty good stuff right there. Yes. That Pergamian age to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna? Yeah. I'll give him a white stone and in the right. stone a new name written which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth. That's that. right. Oh, there's lots of truths in all of that. Thyatira and age. He that overcometh keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. Amen. He'll rule them with a rod of iron as the vessel of a potter so they'll be broken to shivers. And I'll give him, I will give him Morning. the morning star. Yes. Amen. That Sardesian age, he that overcometh the shame, same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father Amen. and before his angels. Praise God. And you get down to this Philadelphian age, he that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. I'll write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Amen. I'll get, I'm going to do all this. I'm going to, I'm getting, we're talking about he that overcometh. Yes. He that overcometh. I'm going to provide Amen. all of this for him. Glory to God. And to the Laodicean age, to him that overcometh, will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Yes. Listen to these next words. Now remember, we're going back to the, the, the whole context of how can I overcome. He's going to do it. Yes. To him that overcometh. Maybe put that verse up, my brother. Verse, verse uh, uh, 21 of Revelations 3. I think I saw you putting Scripture up there. Can you do that? To him that overcometh. This is our age now. Yeah. And we're going we're to break into what we're trying to tell you all along. It ain't you that's going to do it. Right. right. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame. Oh, my goodness. That Laodicean age is going to need to recognize one thing, that overcoming has, also, has already been provided. Right. Yeah. Overcoming is, 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 is tantamount to recognizing that I also overcame. Yes. Not only for myself, but I have overcome for them, and I've sat down with my Father right. in His throne. Amen. Amen. Oh, what an age we live in. Amen. What an age. And you go over to Revelations 21 and 7. 
and you'll find a, a scripture that, that certainly coordinates with what the prophet was telling us. Revelations 21, 7, He that overcometh, what are we going to get? He that overcometh shall inherit all things. All things. All right. All things. What does the scripture tell us? I'll be his God. He'll be my son. Amen. That overcomer is not only going to receive the portion for his age, but he's going to reach back through all those ages Amen. and gather each of their portions. Hallelujah. Oh, you talk about the mother load has come our way in our day. You talk about people that ought to be happy, that ought to be joyous. I was listening to a brother preach the other night up in, up in, in Sarasota there, uh, a minister brother. You've had him here in your church. He, he was reading a very good quote out of Rising of the Sun. When that light broke upon the earth, it brought joy on the earth. All right. Oh, the presence of that light. Brother Jack and I were discussing some, some areas of the light that, yes. that we've been looking at. What a wonderful thing that light has come. Yes. Light has sprung up in our day. Amen. Oh, what Amen. a light it is. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Say it again. All, all, all. things. See, y'all be yelling that at Brother Jack, but you just... <laughs> Because, because you're afraid it's going to scare me. You all things. All things. All things. All. All. All things. All things. Yes, sir. It's right in the scripture. Lord. What did the prophet tell us? Every succeeding age gets the benefits of the ages before. Yes, the overcomers of our day yes. shall inherit <laughs> all things. Amen. All things. Amen. And I'll be as God. He shall be all, right. all things. Mm, the mother load. All things. Amen. All things. Overcomer. Somebody's going to do it. Amen. Somebody. I'm somebody. Amen. You got to believe you're somebody. Amen. We, we, are, we are proprietors. We have been given one of the most selfish, selfish quotes that we have lived with for all these years that the prophet could have left us with. You all know what it is? If there's only one going. Man, what kind of a selfish what kind of a selfish plan is that? If there's only one going, I'll be that one. What is he trying to tell us? That as long as you are making your calling an election sure. The trouble is we've gotten so bewildered by that in the end time that we're trying to go out and make everybody else's calling an election sure. But the scripture encourages us to make our own calling an election sure. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something about me tonight. I'm going to tell you something. Now, you may believe that I'm a good fellow and Brother Jack likes me and I appreciate that and I'm glad, I'm glad for that. But let me tell you the core truth about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. All right. And that is that I am the only one that knows that I have it. All right. All right. That's good. All right. I'm the only one. That's good. Now, I've, I listen to this Pentecostal age that's, that's surrounding this message, and I, I hear them preaching stuff about the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and, and, and I've seen them get it. I know this brother's got the Holy Ghost because I've seen him get it. That's so against the Scripture. The kingdom of heaven cometh not with observation. Yeah. Amen. I've seen him get it. Right. Brother Bram says, what you see, he says, those are the blessings of God. Amen. Those are those those are the revival fires of God. Those are Amen. those are the, the emotional outbursts that yes. we have. But I am the only one that knows. Amen. I want you to believe with me and have confidence in me and you and your pastor oh, that he is a spirit filled man. That, yes. And I'm gonna have confidence in you that you are spirit filled oh, people. God. Yeah. But I'm the only one that knows. Right. I know that God has done a work with me because I'm the only one that can make yeah. my own calling and election all church. Right. Amen. Praise God. I know in my young days of being in this message, I was run, running all over the country. Do you think I got it? Do you think I Well, how does he know if I got it or not? Right. How would he know? Right. Because I'm a nice guy? Brother Brad says there's a lot of nicer guys out there than us. Come on. Amen. You don't come to this church. You don't come to what's it called? Spirit and Truth Tabernacle. You don't come because there ain't no churches in, in West Palm Beach that would treat you better. All right. Oh, man. You can get, you can get in these, some of these, these Christian science and some of these churches, Brother Brown said, they can out-love us. They can out-love us. 
There are programs you can you can go to socials and you can, you can have soup suppers and parties and and just have a wonderful, relaxed, comfortable life. Yeah. But you come here because your calling and election has steered you this way. Amen. It has brought you to the word. Amen. And that word is following. Amen. Now, so somebody, somebody, there's going to be some overcomers Amen. in there. Amen. There's going to be some. <clears throat> I'm glad to be a part of them. Amen. Oh, we Amen. sing, I'm one of them. That's it. I'm one of them. I'm That's one of it. them. I'm so glad. Yes. I'm so good. Now, we may not sing it like y'all do. <laughs> we don't sing Amazing Grace like y'all do. <laughs> I think Brother Jack makes him up as he goes. And y'all love him so much, y'all just follow along. This little girl here, she's good, I can tell, because she's, she's just making it up as she goes. Wherever he wants to go, she's going to follow. You know? I tell you, I love our brother. He's just been a special friend to us. Special friend. Special friend. God bless you for... For, for, for following the word. Amen. Pray for your pastor that he'll continue to be led in the word. Amen. You know, I appreciate emotion. I know I know the, the Pentecostal element, they just all live with that those few quotes, you know, if you ain't got no emotion, you're dead. Right. Nothing wrong with being a little emotional, but it's the word. Amen. It's the word. Yes. Amen. It's the word. Yes. Amen. Yes. I, I found this little quote just, just coming on the trip. He said, Brother Brown, I guess in leadership in Covina County, California, he thought the message was pretty hard. He said, I know it's a stern, cutting message, brother. But I didn't come here and choose a message to the people just to try to make them sing and shout and holler. All right. Amen. See, most of these Pentecostal message churches that are living in the glare of that Pentecostal yeah. age, it's all about yes. the singing and the shouting and the hollering. Uh -huh. Brother Brown says, I've been in heathen meetings where they've done the same Come thing. Right. I'm interested in your life. Amen. Yes. I'm a servant of God that's got to answer to God. The ministry Hallelujah. that the Lord has given me makes me interested in your life. Amen. Yeah. Jesus said, follow me. My God. Get rid of what you got and follow me. Amen. And that's the only way to have eternal life. I didn't, I didn't choose a message just to make you sing and shout and holler. Right. Is it wrong to sing and shout and holler? No. It can get out of order. Yeah. Y'all ever get lit? No, not here, brother. We never been out of order. No, it, it can get it, it can get out of order. It can, and I know we we wore out the old Pentecostal thing. Well, if the wildfire breaks up, there's enough wet blankets around to put it out. It ain't gonna matter. You know, it's the word. Amen. It's the word. And with minus the teaching of the word, you just have Pentecostalism. That's it. That's it. That's Too many of these message churches are living in the glare of the Pentecostal yes. age. Yes. I didn't try to just get them a, a message to make them sing and shout and holler. Right. The Lord willing, we're going to take on Sunday. <clears throat> on Sunday, we're going to look at at the life of Job and 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 one overcomer, one overcomer in that age, mm -hmm. and that was Job. <clears throat> Job being a prophet, having a you know, an insight into fellowship with God mm -hmm. that, that the prophet marveled and, and, and wanted our fellowship to be like that. We'll, we'll begin to book, look into that. If our musician sisters would come. It's, it's Friday night. Praise the Lord. I don't hardly ever go to church on Friday night, so I don't know when to start and end. <laughs> but we're going to... Y'all sing that song, Peace of God, Cover Me? Do you sing that? Uh, you, you know, know it, though, right? No, I know it, yeah. I think but you know it. Peace of God. Do you know it? You don't know it? Oh, my goodness. Can, how quick can he put it on the board? Can he type fast? Can, let me yeah. see your hands. Yeah. I don't know this man back here. She. She? she? Where is it? Oh, you're putting it in? Well, dear sister, I apologize. How, how fast can you type? Take this back there, Brother Jack. Run this back there to her. She, it ain't but a few verses. All right. <laughs> It ain't, but I gotta get it on the board. I can talk to you a few more minutes while she gets it on the board for us. 
just that just that it, it's a chorus and 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 just just may not be your style of, of worship but it's just a beautiful beautiful little chorus i do that wherever i go i pick songs that people don't know <laughs> I appreciate meeting what I believe are true overcomers. Amen. Like I said, I can't convince you I'm gonna I'm one. I know my life tries to speak of a true believer. Your life tries to speak of a true believer. But when the testing comes, it'll be him that overcomes in you. Amen. Him that overcomes. God trying to condition his people so he can get from them. Get from them what he created them for. He never made you to be something besides a son and a daughter of God. He's talking to believers now. Talking to the elect. He's not talking to the world out there. He did make them to be something else. So many people struggle with that. They look at those, those quotes of Brother Brandon when he tried to define election for us. He made some very horrific statements by their standards. All these that have walked away and criticized. When the prophet looks out at the mass of humanity and he simply sums them up as they are cannon fodder for an atomic yes. age. Yes. Well, that's cruel. It's not cruel. It's looking at election. It's looking... The, the, the tragedy of the masses mm -hmm. confirms in our heart that God reached down and pulled one. My Lord Jesus. One out of that. He pulled six out of the days yeah. of John the Baptist. Yeah. He pulled two out of the days of those children going through the wilderness. Yes. Amen. He pulled three out of the days of, mm. of Daniel. Yes. And they were overcomers. Amen. And if Satan has robbed you, this is in Restoration of the Broad Tree, if Satan has robbed you of the privilege mm -hmm. of being a son or a daughter of God, mm -hmm. we have a right this morning by the Holy Spirit to enforce the claim of God and bring Him back. If, if Satan has robbed you of that, we have the ability. We have a right before God to enforce the laws of God. If you are sick tonight, we have a right. As true elect sons and daughters of God, we have a right. You might find that song right on online, sis. If you, I don't know, you got internet here, they might find it. She's gonna get it. Yeah. You wanted me to teach you a new song, didn't you? Yes, I think it's no. there, brother. It's there. Yeah. All right. Put it on I'm looking for it. He's getting it. <laughs> I thought this fine-looking young man behind the, the camera was going to be putting it in. If he's as fast as me, we'd be here in the morning still typing. <laughs> the song is Peace of God. Let's stand there. Right? You got, where's that water, Brother Jack? Where's that? I left it on a uh, cold one on the desk. Can I just take one of these? All right, I'm just going to take one of these. Peace of God. Cover me. It's, it's a slow course. You, you, just help me if, if we can pick up. I don't, I don't know what key it's in. No, you give me something. I, I can't. <laughs> you give your dad something. Is, is that your father? Is this your daughter? I thought it was. Give me C. Give me C. Peace of God, cover me. Cover me. Through the storm and cover me. 
willing to do that for you? Cover me. Let, let them keep playing. Let, let, me, let me read you a little something. You want to hear a good quote about that? Would you love oh, this fits so good? Her brother Aaron McGarry read this one night. It just blessed my soul so much. He was talking about a chaplain friend. You'll remember this story. A chaplain friend from the First World War. He was telling me, he said, Billy, one day they had thrown that mustard gas and that chlorine gas in the First World War over in France. He said, we was out near a rain. And he said, it was an awful day. It was Easter. And the gas had burned down the trees and the grass. And there was nothing alive. And he said it was a rainy morning and a nurse come through the room, a big bunch of calla lilies in her hand. Oh my God. And she was passing by the beds of those wounded soldiers, giving each one a lily. Them crippled boys, some of them burnt, some of them blind, would grab that lily and scream and cry because it was a token from home. He said, I couldn't stand it. I walked outside and the major said, Chaplain, I'm going out to the front to check some tanks that was, some vehicles that was, was tore up to see if there's city of them can be brought in up there in no man's land where they moved the Germans from. He said, I went out there and he took me out in the sidecar of a little motorcycle. And when we st stopped out there on the field, he said, I looked around and I thought, oh, if this isn't a desolate place, there's not a leaf on a tree, there's not a sprig of grass to be found anywhere, and yet it's Easter. And he said, I walked along and I kindly attracted to a little rock. Yes. And said, I turned it over with my foot and said, what do you think was under that rock? I turned it over with my foot and said there was a little Easter lily that had been hid under there. Amen. The rock all the time during the gas and the war. And I started to pull it and I said, it's too sacred. I knelt there and I said, Lord, hide me in the rock of ages. Preserve my life, O oh Lord, as you preserve this lily. Life is a great thing. Cover me. It's a great thing. Cover me. Let's try it again. Can we try it again? Y'all were, were doing good. Brother Jack's going to sing it all different later on. So, But let's do it my way one more time if we can. Can we do that? Let's go back from the top. Of, from the top. Peace of God. we came 
hold on, cover us, Lord. Let's be like that little lily hiding under that rock, the mustard gas and burned everything else up. But that life was still growing under there. Let the life of these overcomers feed that life, feed that soul, feed that gene seed of God that was placed there before the foundation of the world. Cover them over and protect them. Hold them. Hold them. Hold them, Lord, through these tried times we pray. That is our prayer. Oh, God, let the peace of God cover us. Let the strength of the Word become our portion. Let, let the... Let the we, 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 overcoming means we know the devil and all of his devices. To overcome is being able to stand every test. God, I believe there's overcomers in this building tonight. I believe there's overcomers that will be here. Somebody is going to fulfill that Word and be alive and remain to the coming of the Lord. Let it be so, we pray. Let it be so we pray for this congregation. I am safe.
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we just appreciate your word that has come to our hearts tonight and your spirit, Lord, that just dwells in this place. Thank you, Father, for your servant. Lord, Brother Ernest, just getting himself out of the way and just speaking, Father, what you placed in his heart to, to us. Lord, and, and as he was just saying that some, some, somebody, somebody, God, is going to manifest this promise, God, that you've laid in Scripture, just as you use Isaiah to prophesy. Lord, that a virgin would conceive and, and just uh, throughout the ages that word was trying to find a place of rest. God, there are promises that are, amen, determined for this day. And God, I believe tonight that the word has found a, a place of rest, somebody's heart, God, that it would dwell in and, and they begin to see themselves, oh, not as defeated, but already see themselves as overcomers. Realizing that it's not in our strength that we overcome, but it's, it's, it's through the blood of the Lamb. God, that we overcome. Thank you for your word tonight, Lord. Thank you for the strength and encouragement that we receive. That, amen, no matter what it is that Satan puts in our path, it cannot stop us from what has already happened. We are overcomers. Hallelujah. Father, we ask that as we prepare, God, to leave this place tonight, that you would just go with us. May we go meditating and thinking on the things that we've heard. And as we thunk and think on these things, may we draw closer to you. Father, we pray that uh, you prepare our hearts and our minds and our bodies to come back into the house of the Lord on Sunday morning. And Lord, meet us here, God, in the only way that you can. Continue to use your servant. Bless him, God. Bless his precious wife. Oh, God, how we love you. How we praise you. How we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. We have overcome other land testimony. We have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and our testimony. Everyone has overcome. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our testimony, everyone has overcome. Come on, sing it again. We have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and our testimony. Everyone has overcome. Hallelujah. We have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and our testimony. Everyone has overcome. We believe it. We believe it. We have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and our our testimony.
lonely Everyone has overcome We have overcome By the blood of the Lamb and our testimony Jesus, my God, my God, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. <laughs> I believe it, church, I believe it. It is a finished work, and there's nothing Satan can do that can stop us, amen, from achieving what God has already ordained us to do. I was reminded, amen, of um, a statement that I heard a few weeks ago. Brother Isaiah Brooks was just talking about how the Lord allowed the prophet to go beyond the curtain of time. As he was there, you know, and, and just, the angel just showing him all the people. And he's like, are these Branhams? Like, no, 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 not Branhams. They're your converts. They're your converts. Begin to talk to him. Is, 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 is Paul's group here? He's like, yeah, Paul's group is here. And and, um, and he says, well, uh, you know, I, I preach the same thing Paul preached. And, and if Paul going to be judged by what he preached, and I preach the same thing Paul preached, and I'll be judged by, by that same thing. And he said, millions screamed out, we're resting on that and, and just the mere fact by God allowing the prophet to go to the other side it showed that he was already an overcomer right there was nothing that devil could do to stop him from actually getting back to that place but I, I also believe that I was part of the millions right when, 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 when he said millions I wasn't even born at that time but I come from God and I'm going back to God and I was a part of the millions that yelled out we're resting on that so if I was there then, I'm going to be there later. And there's not a thing the devil can do to stop me from going back to where I come from. I am an overcomer. Amen. I, I believe I'm one of them. If, it, if it's just one person going to catch it, I caught it tonight and I am an overcomer. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's give the Lord another hand of praise. My, my, my. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. We'll have the brothers come, amen, to dismiss us tonight. We'll be back for our time of prayer on Sunday morning, Sunday school at 9.30, and then service, amen, at, at 10.30. If you all would remember, our brother Bernard, uh, Jean Mary, and his uh, precious family uh, there in Miami, their mother passed away. She was 97 years old, I believe, and tomorrow they're going to be having a home-going service for her down in Miami. So if you would just remember, Remember that family in prayer as you're going through to the, 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 the day on tomorrow and, and then even tonight. Just remember that remember them that God would just strengthen them through this time. Amen. We certainly appreciate it. God bless you. Amen.